thinking about that. Should we boycott the BK? This week, Burger King announced an $11 billion merger with Canadian coffee chain and my Pilates instructor, Tim Hortons. <laughs> the deal allows the fast food giant to reincorporate north of the border and benefit from Canada's lower tax rate. This begs the question, <laughs> is this evil? Yes, there you go. <laughs> Critics have slammed the merger, saying it allows BK to avoid paying U.S. taxes on overseas sales. On MSNBC's Morning Joe, the only show on TV named after a sex act, Joe Scarborough called for a boycott. So you know what I'm going to do so I can afford to pay Burger King's taxes? I'm just not going to ever go to Burger King You're again. not going to eat Whoppers? And I think a lot of Americans should not go to Burger King again if they're going to cheat Boycott on their taxes. Boycott BK. Go ahead. There are reasons I hey, think wait, we should. And, and I think we should actually make sure that all Burger King officials have to move to Canada. Well, how do you punish them? But, Why don't you just make a deal in Congress, just, lower the corporate tax rate, and stop corporate inversions and help them repatriate? because their fries suck. Their fries they do suck. suck. Oh. All right, a couple things. We know that Joe Scarborough never goes to Burger yeah. King, never in his life. So you can't boycott something that you don't actually use, Rick. But you have an interesting point. Wait, are you are you saying that he looks like he's in shape? Did I say that? <laughs> you said he never goes to Burger King. No, I'm just saying that he. Well, I don't know what I said. He, he just, looks like he goes to Burger King. A lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just seems like he's a little too snobby to go to Burger King. Yes, I think is what. Uh, yeah, that's what I was and saying. And I think he's a little bit too flabby. <laughs> To not go to Burger King. Okay. Wow. All right. Or McDonald's or something. But the point here is, is that Burger King is already owned by a Brazilian company mm -hmm. called 3G Capital. There you go. Already owned by the Brazilians. Why are we going crazy that it's got to be America? True. It's got to be American made. It's mm -hmm. going to be Canadian made now. It's closer than Brazil. Right. I think this is a good step. All right, Joe, what do you make of this? Uh, well, I'm still trying to figure out what sex act Morning Joe is. <laughs> um, Let me, I, I'll show you later. I mean, I don't understand why... Uh, why we fault the company for trying to not pay taxes. Not paying taxes is the best. I would always try to not pay taxes. Uh, the thing is, like, where was he when Pfizer announced plans to merge with AstraZeneca because they did the exact same thing, trying to merge with the British pharmaceutical company. Mm -hmm. He wasn't saying, hey, people, stop taking your Lipitor. Yes, he yeah. needs the Lipitor, yeah, that's, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, yeah. Boy, yeah. Boy, boycott your life-saving yeah. drugs. That's it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we, I, Andy, let me get to you, because yeah. you actually dine at Burger King <laughs> now and then, making you an expert sure. not at just ruining your life. Yeah. What about the, the, that cut about the fries, the, 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 the jab at the fries? That I was, actually like the fries. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I thought it was un unnecessary. It, wasn't. it was, Willie it was, mean, it mean was spirited. Willie Geist, so by definition it was no, unnecessary. No, it wasn't. It was was that not Willie Geist? I thought, I thought Willie Geist was the Who's Thomas guy. Roberts? I don't know who's Oh, you're on. right. It was Thomas Roberts. I sleep they don't eat fries. What do they know? <laughs> they don't <laughs> right. eat fries. But look. How dare you? This, I don't, this isn't a tax thing. No. Uh, apparently, their tax savings will be pretty minimal. The reason they did this is because they were, it was easier for them to get approved, the deal approved by Canadian regulators. Ah. If they said, hey, we'll move our corporate headquarters to your country. So therefore, it does, it's not like a foreign company taking over Tim Hortons. Okay. So Smart move. And, and Tim boring. Hortons does like... <laughs> Tim Hortons does not do a lot of business in America, but they're obviously they're huge in Canada. Yeah. They and Burger King do almost the same amount of business. Wow. They're almost the same size. So it's not like Burger King bought this small company. In a way, you're saying Tim Hortons is the nickelback of uh, fast food. I more like the Brian Adams of fast food. All right. OK. Yeah. Better than uh, Triumph, maybe. Uh, or April Wine. They're no saga. My first <laughs> concert ever. First concert, April Wine. Canadian, I believe. Joanne, you dated Tim Norton or Tim Hortons in the 80s. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. What do you, uh, will people boycott Burger King? Listen, people say that they will. Yeah. But they're the same ones that have Whopper sauce on their pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whopper sauce. I'm just confused. Do I have to go all the way to Canada for my, like, drunk fries? No. No, they'll still be here. They're just going to be moving their... They're just moving the corporate office. That's yeah, it. that's no, it. I knew that. I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can still get them here, though. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> no, really, though, the only thing I, that I actually like at Burger King are the chocolate milkshakes. There is something about those chocolate milkshakes that it's unlike any other place. I like their chicken sandwiches. I think they make great chicken sandwiches. Other than that, oh, I like their. I do actually like their burgers, except they everything happens really quickly afterwards. <laughs> we won't talk about that because we got to take a break. But the thing is, no, no, no one's talking about the most important part of the story. There's no apostrophe in Tim Hortons, which makes no sense. Yeah, it's true. Because Tim Horton was the hockey player. We've got to talk about that yeah, uh, for a whole hour tomorrow. <laughs>